What's going on YouTube, Giasna right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save the iOS 11.4.1 blobs and of course why you should do that. So this video is brought to you by Tenorshare. They have this program in here called Rayboot that helps you fix iOS 12 problems. You can put the device in recovery mode, exit recovery mode or repair the operating system if you have these screens in here. Check the program for free on the link below. Anyways, if you take a look in here on the iPhone wiki on iOS 11.4.1, it's still signed for all the devices. And why is it so important all of a sudden? Well, if you remember, I made a video a couple days ago and even yesterday, a recap video in which I talked about iOS 12 being released and of course iOS 12 being not the best choice for the moment in terms of jailbreaking. So you should not update to iOS 12 for the moment, especially since it introduces new security measures that would of course make jailbreaking harder, at least for the moment. So iOS 11.4.1 .1 remains a very good software to stay on. So it's a good idea to save your blobs to be able to downgrade in the future. Without this blob saved, you wouldn't be able to downgrade ever again. So at first, what you need to do is to pretty much go to TSS Saver in here. You probably remember the website, but I'm going to try to also explain you a couple of things that are required for some specific models. So at first, you're going to have to select your device in here. For some devices like the SE and so on, you will need to specify the board configuration apart from the ACID in here. Now, this is required because the iPhone SE and the 6S and so on can have different chips inside and if you do not specify your own, the blobs that you save are not valid and you wouldn't be able to downgrade. So where do you find this information? Well, you can download this application in here or any other application that specifies system information and it will show you the board configuration of your device apart from other things that it may show. So you can definitely check that up in the description down below. Now, once you have that information, it's probably going to be like N41 or N62 or whatever. You're going to type it in here and put your ACID in here. Now, that's only if your device requires requires a board configuration. For example, I'm going to save the blobs for an iPod Touch 6th generation and this one doesn't require such thing. So iPod in my case and I'm going to select the sixth one. And as you can see, there is no need for me to specify any board configuration. Now, what you need to specify is the ACID. So for that, you're going to go into iTunes. Once your device is connected on iTunes, pressing here and get the ACID. In order to do that, you're going to go here on serial number and press on it twice. So one, two, and you have the ACID. You copy this one in here. And of course, you do not have to update your phone in order to save the blobs. As you can see, my iPod is running iOS 11.3 and I'm jailbroken with the Electra, but I still can save the blobs for 11.4.1 .1, and I would definitely recommend you to do this regardless of whether you're jailbroken or not. So what you have to do is to paste this in here and that's pretty much it. Make sure that you select the proper device in here because if you don't that would cause problems and the blobs would be invalid and then go ahead in here and select your another robot. You may have to complete a challenge like this one in here and that's it. You press submit and you should have the collection of your blobs. So if you press in here here, this link should show everything you have. And as you can see, I have been saving my blobs for quite a while, starting from iOS 10.2. Of course, you only have the blobs that you have saved previously for that ACID and the ones for 11.4.1. .1. Now, a lot of people are asking me, can you save blobs for other versions that are no longer signed? Well, no, you can't. The version has to be signed and this is why it's important to save it right now. With iOS 12 released, iOS 11.4.1 .1 will not stay signed for so long. So go ahead and save your blobs right now and of course you can check them out and you can download them, but if you want to check whether they are valid or not, the same website also has a checker called the blobs checker in here where you can upload a blob file, select the device and of course it will check for you whether it's valid or not. So that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. You can access this website from any platform, being it Mac OS, Linux or Windows, or even on mobile if you know your ACID. So it's pretty easy. Now, of course, you should do it right now because once iOS 11.4.1 .1 will no longer be signed, you will not be able to save the blobs anymore. And of course, you will not be able to downgrade ever again without those blobs. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. This video has been brought to you by Wondershare and they're currently having a contest where you can pretty much win the new iPhone XR. So what I have to do is to go ahead in here, link is in the description down below, select the contest number three, and what I have to do is to vote whether you like the iPhone XS, 
XS Max or the 10R. And you of course sign up for their giveaway and if you're lucky you can win the new iPhone 10R. Definitely check them out in the description down below. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and save your blobs right now, especially if you're interested in jailbreaking in the future. iOS 12, although it has kernel exploits available, it will definitely be a challenge to jailbreak in the future. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.